Welcome to Slutty Book Club, a feminist comedy book review for people who like to Dutch oven their dogs. Hey, Slutty Book Clubbers. So sorry, Christian's gone. We killed him. Oh, well. Now we have a bell. <laughs> Ladies. Thank you. Thank you. Enjoy your cream puffs. <laughs> So something I didn't realize is that there are Jewish vampires. What? Okay. So it was Marcilla Karenstein, Count Bermanstein, <laughs> and Dr. Spielsberg. Literally the most Jewish names. I didn't even know that Jews lived in 1872. Yeah. And also they say that she's like yeah. super paranoid and then <laughs> she makes she makes Laura paranoid. I feel like the Jews, if you have like a Goyesha friend, you always like make them really nervous about things. Yeah. What if God doesn't exist, you know? Oh, you can't, don't, Can I not don't say put that? that on them. No, I mean like you can, just not to a... <laughs> I couldn't help but think the whole time that this was written by a man and he didn't do anything that really shocked me or that I felt was really subversive. I thought Carmilla was kind of like a seductive, vampy sex pot and Laura was just kind of like a pathetic, scared little straight girl. I also wonder if Carmilla had Munchausen's by proxy syndrome. What is that? It's when you make, well, it's usually when you make your child sick so that they're like more dependent on you and they need you more. And it oh says in the book. Oh my God, how do you do that to lovers? Exactly. So Carmilla does it to her lovers and only the ones that she loves, she draws out their deaths so she can spend more time to, with them, which is like super fucking selfish. I was going to say that's so romantic. Is that what you do with your boyfriends and girlfriends? I try, I've tried. To make them sick slowly over time to well, spend more time with Well, just like anything so they don't leave me. Maybe you need to use some of Carmilla's tactics. Which is what? Her super vampire vajisha? I thought it was somewhat progressive that in 1872 he even had two female protagonists and introduced oh come on the, come on uh, homosexuality it's one of those books that's like retrospectively interesting but i don't think le fanu was like i'm gonna sit down and write a really provocative brave ass lesbian love story i think it was pussy if he was a real man he would have gone to jail like oscar wilde the whole thing to me was all very vagina dentata you mm -hmm. know what i mean yep i just imagined Personally. that one day she would wake up with fangs in her vishnerets I don't think Carmilla really loved Laura. In order to survive, Carmilla needs blood. Yes. Laura has a period. Why she gotta bite her and kill her? But it's different types of blood. It's blood. Every month, get it all up in there, take it home to your coffin, put it in there. You don't have to bite her and kill her. My favorite word in the whole book yeah. was cudgel. They actually say cudgeling, but it means a short, thick stick used as a weapon, which is clearly a penis. You know what I, my favorite word obviously was schloss. I 100% thought that your schloss was that area between your vagina and your bum. It's the sacrifice during childbirth. I know, and you're like, oh my God, I had a baby and now my schloss is busted. <laughs> Bye, well, hello book sluts. Welcome to Bookmark, the part of the show where we answer questions from viewers. Our first question is from at Mad Zay. Hi, girl. Hi. At Mad Zay says, at Slutty Book Club, thanks for the poop advice. You're welcome. Any words of wisdom for UTIs? Yes. Chug cranberry juice, and after someone jizzes inside of you, make sure you go to the bathroom and pee it all out, sister. May I just add, girl, it's not just jizz. Fingers, objects, living creatures, Whatever goes in there, you gotta pee it right out. This question comes to us from Actual Kaya, and she wants to know, hey, Slutty Book Club, hashtag bookmark, what is your take on the demonization of lesbians in Le Fanu's novella? Here's my take, you're absolutely right. Lesbians are demonized. I think it's mad fucked up that Carmilla gets decapitated. I absolutely think that that's some kind of indictment against being a lesbian. I resent it. I'm not cool with that, Le Fanu. At Jen Chase, TP wants to know, at Slutty Book Club, so excited for the new book reviews. What's your fav line from Carmilla? Well, Jen Chase TP, what does TP stand for? I'm assuming not toilet paper. Solve the mystery for us? Who's asking the questions now? If you'd like to send in any questions, please do so on Twitter at Slutty Book Club, hashtag bookmark. And as you can tell, we're very knowledgeable about all of your pelvic regions. And your anus. 
That's pelvic region. Is that in the pelvic region? Yeah, there's a front and a back pelvis. Like a front and back bum? Yeah. Jessica, keep icing your front bum. Who's Jessica? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs>part of the show where we decide whether or not the book is worthy enough to go in our boxes. What'd you think? I'm kind of on the fence. I feel like for me the book is half in, half out. Kind of like when you have sex with a guy and he gets whiskey dick and it just falls asleep and you don't know if you like fully can count it as someone you've had sex with, so you kind of just like count it as a halfer. I thought it was really interesting and cool, but it was also kind of weird and he says like, who talks like this, you know? A oh, princely, oh, blah, blah. not for me. I'm gonna say that I loved it. I thought it was really engaging. I got super into it. Wish it was written by a woman. Wish it was a little braver. But overall, I think it's cool as fuck that it predates Dracula and it's creepy and the end is really disturbing. And you know how I feel when something's disturbing. Rub one out. Want it in my box. Thanks so much for watching and remember to STD. Which on Slutty Book Club means subscribe, tell your friends, and discuss in the comments below. What you eating there, Sarah? A queen puff. A what? A queen puff. A queen puff. <laughs> A queen puff. <laughs> this, I, I, I love cream puffs, don't you? Okay. Let's see how many cream puffs. Okay, okay queen puff contest? Very yeah, blank. Okay. Cream puff. Why don't we just try this bell here and see who comes out? Okay, try the bell. Ladies, enjoy your cream puffs. Oh, you, you need the fucking <laughs> puffs, don't you? It's okay. Super perfect. It's okay, I was.